Hello, in this video, we will cover different type of questions that can be asked on math module in Python. To use mathematical functions, you have to import the module using import math. This module does not support complex data types. Python has another module cmath which is for the complex numbers. The various methods which are part of math module are as shown. In addition to methods, it also has two constants defined math.py and math.e. We can also use this constants as is. One of the first question that is asked is to identify the library to which the function belongs. Here you would be given some function or even a constant and you have to correctly identify them to be part of math library. So you need to take a good look at all the commonly used functions so that you are able to identify them. Another question could be to identify valid and invalid functions. Which ones of the below are valid math functions? Here abs and min are not valid math library function. Remaining all are valid functions. Next type of question is where some combination of library functions are used and you are asked to predict the output. For example, take a look at this expression here. Here the question will specifically have negative values to check if you understand how it works. Here seal function returns minus 5 as minus 5 is higher than minus 6 on a number line. Then it will calculate the absolute value of minus 5 and return 5.0. Another similar question is what is the output of this expression? Here float function will return minus 6 as it is a lower number in the number line. Truncate will return minus 5 as it will remove the decimal value. The sum of it is returned as the answer which is minus 11. Another question on this is what is the output of these statements? Are they both same? Here maths.pow always gives a float output so it will give the answer as 8.0. Exponential operator on the other hand will give integer value if input is given as integer and will give float value if the past values are float. So in this case it will print 8. Another type of question could be to write a python expression. Like write an expression for the following mathematical equation. Assume that the math module is already imported. Here you will use the correct operator for multiplication after n and then multiply to n minus 1 to x raised to the power of 5. Here you can use exponential operator too. For the denominator, you can use the factorial function from the math library. Another similar question where we have to write an expression for the given mathematical equation. Here you will use the sqrt function to calculate the square root and you will pass b raised to the power of 2 minus 4 into a into c. You will then divide this numerator by math factorial function. Another type of question could be to correct the errors and underline them. For example, take a look at this program. Here the first error is that math library is not included. So you will include that. Then R is numeric. So you will use typecasting to convert the input to either float or int. Then pi needs to be qualified as math.py. Also, parameters are written in wrong order in power function. We first give r and then give it to the power of 2. Another question could be to write a program that prints for number 1 to 10 its sign and log value. Here we will first import the math library, then we will set up the for loop using range function from 1 to 11 so that it runs till 10. Inside the loop, we will use math.sign function to print the sign value and then use the log function to print the log value. For more questions and programs to practice on Python, you can visit my website. Good luck!